All right, you guys, we're going to make a quick video. Don't judge me. My Easter decorations are still up, okay? I really only just realized that because I'm making this video and there's little freaking bunnies back here. <laughs> I was supposed to put up the stuff for 4th of July, so maybe <laughs> maybe I'll do that today because uh, that's got to that's gotta come down. Funny thing about that, though, is the dog um, will actually, like... <laughs> Try to chew the tail off. Uh, anyways, I'm making this video because, you know, I already we already told our family and everything, and we've already got a pretty good plan, but would love to hear from any of you that have done it or have gone there because we haven't even visited. But we are highly, highly, highly considering, pretty much already made our decision to move to Thailand within the next um, 18 months to two years. And... Um, Honestly, it was between Bali, Thailand, and Vietnam. The reason we took Bali off the list is due to us having the dogs. They have very, very strict policies on dogs coming to the country. They have to quarantine for seven days upon arrival. And so then they're with the government and we're not allowed to see them for that whole entire seven days. And I'm not, not willing to like put them through that. Um, and then Thailand and Vietnam. The main reason we would choose Vietnam over Thailand would just be because my husband is Vietnamese and he speaks the language. That's, that's, that's really it. Now, I love the food there. I love the coffee there. <sighs> love it. However, the main reason we chose Thailand over Vietnam is due to the healthcare. So many articles and people that we've asked said the healthcare is so much better in Thailand than Vietnam. Like you're good in Vietnam if you need some basic checkups and basic things, but if you need like some legit care or something is legitimately wrong with you, they will fly. You will have to fly over to Thailand. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not willing to deal with that. Like anytime I need something, like beyond a checkup and beyond blood work or something like I'm gonna have to fly to Thailand. Like I just, I don't wanna deal with that. So I'd rather kind of have Thailand be like our home base over there. And then we can always go to Vietnam for six months and just hang out. And then we can go to, you know, Bali for maybe a couple of weeks, have someone watch the dogs for us. And then, you know, we can go to Italy and we can go to Paris. Like we could do all these things, you know. So um, that's kind of why we, ended up deciding to go Thailand. So there's a few things that have to happen before we of course make that actual move. And that's going to be our passive income kind of requirements. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be passive. I don't mind, you know, working on my business while I'm over there too. Um, but my husband is definitely going to need some kind of income outside of a nine to five job that he has here. Um, and then figuring out the dogs and then figuring out exactly where in Thailand. Um, I personally, I do not want to be in Bangkok. I do not want to be in a major city. Like when we went to Vietnam, we went to Ho Chi Minh City and Hoi An. I would definitely choose Hoi An over Ho Chi Minh City. Like I do not like being in the city center, you know, so I'm okay with like, areas outside of Bangkok. Um, we were kind of looking at, uh, is it Chiang, Chiang Mai or, uh, but they, it just looked a lot more underdeveloped than some other areas. Um, right now I'm looking at Krabi, uh, Ao Nang. And so, but my thing is I don't want to be too far from a major city. Like, but I also don't want to be in the middle of nowhere. Um, so we're still kind of doing some research there. We've been watching a lot of YouTube videos to see kind of what places we really like the most. And so far, Chiang Mai, or sorry if I'm not saying the right name, um, that is not high on our list. Um, but the thing is, we also don't want a condo. We prefer to maybe rent a house. So that way the dogs have some kind of yard at least. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at right now. We gave ourselves the next 18 months to two years to really get this online stuff going so we can move over there. All my stuff is already digital. Um, 
Uh, so I, I just need to kind of keep um, escalating, getting to the next level when it comes to the income. Um, and I've been doing really well there. So um, it's not enough for him to quit his job yet, but we're uh, <laughs> we're making progress, okay? And so YouTube's another another way to do that. So we're gonna bring you guys along for this um, this journey of us going to Thailand. We'll basically sell everything that we have when the time comes, except for maybe some really personal things, which honestly is probably like three boxes. Like it's you know it's not anything crazy. Get rid of all the clothes, Xbox, TV, couch, but everything. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of what we're looking at right now. The only thing that kind of makes me a little hesitant, even when it comes to Thailand, is the visa kind of stuff right now. I'd rather not have to like do a visa run every 90 days, but then again, like every 90 days is not, is not too bad. Um, but yeah, the dog's barking because the mailman's outside. It's like, I don't even know, how do dogs even know, like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to bark at the mailman. He's never met the mailman in his freaking life. He just hears their little van thing go by and he barks at them. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. So if any of you have moved overseas, lived overseas for an extended period of time, or have even gone to Thailand for a couple of weeks and you've traveled all around the whole country like I would just love to hear you know what you guys have to say or, or what might be some of your hesitancies and for us like just to put it out there it's not necessarily that there's anything wrong with America okay like it's not that I hate it here or anything like that I just really want to travel the world like that has been my goal ever since I was a lot younger to just travel the world. I love meeting new people, hearing their stories, gaining new experiences, trying new foods, new clothes, new traditions, new activities, new just everything. I find it so fascinating. And so I feel like I'm not someone who can just sit in in one city for a long time. Like we've already been in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for five years and I'm ready to go. Like even if it's just going down to Mansfield or going over to Frisco or going somewhere else, like I just, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm tired of going to the same stores, same people, same everything, right? Like I just really, really love the differences and the excitement of something new, you know? Um, so it's not that we're like, oh my God, get me out of this country. It's just more of like a being over there would give us the opportunity to not only save more money, but it gives us the opportunity to go to the other countries we want to go to for a lot cheaper. Like we could probably fly over to Vietnam for a hundred bucks, you know, whereas if we want to fly to Vietnam for the United States, it's 1500 bucks, you know, like, and it's probably only a four hour flight to get over there from Thailand, whereas it's a, you know, 20 hour flight to get there from here. So it's like, it's just would be better to travel the world already being over there where we're closer to so many other countries we want to visit. So, you know, that's just kind of where we're at right now. Um, in life, my husband wants to retire, of course, back here in America and I have no problem with you know, kind of coming back here, but the next like 10 to 20 years, I would love to just be away, living life, experiencing new things, going to new places and, you know, just living life. Like, I don't think the point of living life is to go to school until you're 18 and then work a nine to five until you're 67 and then try to live your life. Like, no offense to people that do that. And I'm not saying you can't do it and that there are some people that are perfectly fine doing that, but I just personally don't believe that that's the like purpose of life. Like that's why we came here to work a freaking job for 50 years. No, like crazy. So 
that's just, like I said, where we're at. We're going to take you guys along the journey and let you know more about what we're thinking and where we're going to plan to go and how we found a house and what we did for visas, what we did for the dogs. Right now I'm looking at um, some private transportation, um, which you would be surprised. Like, obviously flying private is very expensive, especially if it's like just you but there are groups on Facebook where people get together and instead of it only being like maybe one or two people on this flight there's like 10 of you and your dogs on the flight so you're all splitting the cost you know so if it's you know let's say that flight's gonna cost you know let's just say forty thousand dollars but there's 10 of us on the flight with our dogs like that's, you know, four grand a person. It's really just, you know, really not that, really not that bad. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like, well, that is a good option because they would be in the cabin with us versus flying commercial. They have to go under the plane. And I just, I, I worry about Rocco. I worry about the shepherd because he has a lot of anxiety and I just, I can't imagine him um, being under there. Like it literally the moment they would go to take his leash and take him from us, he would throw a freaking fit. And so I, I really could only imagine him being under the plane for 14 hours. And then the fact that some dogs don't make that plane ride and then some airlines will even lose your dog. So... I would hate to be like, hey, we're starting our new life. You guys are coming with us. And then we land and either they passed away or they lost our freaking dog. So that's 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 the biggest hurdle right now is figuring out how we're going to get them over there. Um, Got a year and a half to two years to figure it out. So it's it's not like it's something we have to know in the next month, you know. So, um, but we got Belgium coming up in um, about three weeks. So I'm really excited for that. Um, my sister-in-law will be here watching the dogs um, and we'll be at Tomorrowland and over in Belgium for a week. And I'll post some more videos between now and then, but I'm really excited to show you guys around Tomorrowland and give you some more information because there's not a lot of it on YouTube. Okay, so see you guys in the next one. Bye.